Hello, and we are back. It's Doc Phoenix with all the Marios, and today we are back on the Sharp X1 Japanese computer system. Who am I? What are we doing here? <laughs> yes, and my, my normal co-commentator is back from vacation. And uh, we are playing Super Mario Brothers Special. You may remember we had Mario Brothers Special. We also had Punchball Mario Brothers. They were both on the Sharp X1, as well as a few other Japanese computer systems. Mm -hmm. And this is Super Mario Brothers Special. Oh, by Hudson Soft. Yes. So... Now, this is... It's going fast because I have it set to a very high processor speed. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it, it doesn't have a fixed speed. This is an old computer system. It can't uh, have a, a set speed. It's just going to go based on how fast the actual processor of the machine is. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's configurable in this emulator. And uh, if I don't have it this high, it goes terribly slowly. Of course, now that I do have it this high, it's a bit uncontrollable, so I might actually need to turn it back down. It, it, yeah, I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to be able to play it this way. But, uh, this is Super Mario Brothers Special. You, as you can see, it's got, uh, doesn't have smooth scrolling, it has individual screens. Right, because PCs couldn't do that at the time. This was before uh, id Software invented it. Now, this is a completely unique set of levels. Hey, you're Luigi now. Yes, the Fire Flower turns you into a Luigi for some reason. Graphic limitations, I guess. It's, they, they can't have different colors of red. So, uh, yeah. Now, I'm going to get through as much of this as I can tonight, and then probably never touch it again. Okay. That seems fair. Because, uh, again, this is a completely unique set of stages. Like, just look at this. This setup. This isn't even a pipe you can go down, I'm pretty sure. This is like an exit pipe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this level seems to be lasting quite a while. Yeah, this is 1-1. One, one. Quite a few of these screens. <laughs> yeah, I definitely might need to turn the processor down. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, turn it down to 10 megahertz. It was at 12. Let's see if that helps. Oh, and uh, here, these, this in-between, you have to manually go into this pipe to go into World 1-2. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this is weird. And I could get up there and, like, skip the stage, but it's kind of hard to control. And kind of need precise jumps up there. You can see it dragging. It The speed of this game drastically changes based on how many sprites are currently on the screen. Well, naturally. Which is why I was like, oh, well, we need to turn it up to the highest speed so that it's you know, watchable, but it's not really. Uh, this like, look at this. This bad. is the edge of the... Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, this. This is a... This is, this is Super Mario Brothers special. I can't really say anything more than that. It's certainly special. Ah... <sighs> uh. It's weird how everything is very fast and yet very slow at the same time. Yep. It's just really weird pause right before the, uh, the music started. So yeah, again, this is Super Mario Brothers Special for the Sharp X1. This, uh, following in the line of 
weird variant versions of games that made by Hudson Soft. That, uh... It's... Did I, I just came over to <laughs> World 1-3. Yep. Yep, you did. And now I have to wait for the tape to rewind. Because, again, this, this was on magnetic tape. Right. These games. So the emulator has to actually emulate the running of a magnetic tape. See, right here, it sounds almost normal, the, the music and the speed of it. But as soon as those Koopas go off screen, it speeds back <laughs> up. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. And the weirdest thing about this is the way that your momentum works when you're running against, like, a wall, like a pipe here. Like, if I don't wait to stop completely, when I jump, even if I'm not holding forward, I'll just launch forward as soon as I clear the top of the pipe. Hmm. So, like, I, I was hoping to get through the entire game within the one sitting, but I, I'm not sure that's going to be physically possible with the, the weird speed issues. I'm not sure I will be able to actually get through this game in a sitting. Because this... I don't have save states for this. Naturally. So, uh... And I'm, I'm not sure if this has the ability to restart from the first part of a... A world, and, right? I mean, I've got to do my arm thing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if this has the uh, ability to restart from like part one of a world if you game over. How many worlds are in it? I'm pretty sure it's a full eight worlds. Hmm. I mean, I I've only tested through world one two, so past one two is blind to me. And seriously, just you needing to <laughs> manually walk into that pipe. <laughs> you just like if if you're coming from having played actual Super Mario Brothers, you get you're there, and it's like, why am I not moving? What's going on? And then you you need to manually do it. I don't and, think anyone who played actual Super Mario Brothers played this version. <laughs> probably, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of the the point of it is it's for people who had the other computer systems and didn't want to get the Famicom. Get it. I want to get on top of the stage so I don't have to deal with the stage. Get, come on. Get it. God, this is so uncontrollable. Okay, there we go. Hey. Now let's see if I can... I'm going to actually try and get through, like... See if there's a, a special stage in this. Like, with... Others and that uh, didn't. Yeah, the way that the screen scrolls in the middle of that platform mm -hmm. is just wrong. It's like they designed the stages before they designed the cutoffs of the the screens. <sighs> it's it's still so weird how fast and slow it's going at the same time. Yeah! I mean, when I the, the first time I tried to to play this, it was at the lowest processor speed of 4 megahertz, and it just dragged. And I was wondering if it was, like, an issue with the, the computer that I'm running it on? Is it like, oh, is there some kind of thing that's... Do, it, do I need a better computer? And, right, that... And, like, just... That, that that jump right there, like, that's, that's silly. But yeah, I, I thought it might have been an issue with uh, the computer, or if it was like, is this how it's supposed to run? Is it normally this slow? Was it always? And then I, I noticed that the emulator has an option for the processor speed. So, uh, yeah, because you, there's, there were, you know, you can upgrade the computer to have different speed processor. 
And yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to even clear world one of this. Just, just uh, all right, and stop, stop, so I can. Okay, I cleared that one jump. That's an accomplishment. I've missed that mushroom. That's also okay. an accomplishment. Oh no! Oh god, oh, no. the way that scrolls! <laughs> Look at that! God, this is a horror show! You thought it was over. And, like, the worst part is you can see there's some amount of competence going into this. Like, they, the graphics of it are actually pretty decent. As, like, a, a, an XP of the actual Super Mario Brothers graphics for the different hardware. Mm -hmm. God, look at the way these, these Paracoopas. Look at how they're just kind of skipping up and down a little. There's no smoothness. And again, if there are exactly two Koopas on the screen, everything seems the right speed. As soon as they are off screen, it's back to hell time. Oh god! Oh no! Koopas! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this weird ass staircase! What? What is even going on? <laughs> What am I even playing? And this is why you don't mix uppers and downers, kids. <laughs> Here's the first castle. Again, I have not seen this before, so... Why is the fire bar curving? Oh god, it is curving! <laughs> well, the reason is because the outer and inner sprites are different. Uh, uh, okay, I got a mushroom. I got a mushroom I can tank one hit. As long as that hit is not falling in lava. Okay. This is run speed, by the way. Uh, like, this is walk speed. This is run. <laughs> Maybe this game was made to be walked through? I can't really say that this... I, you're assuming this game was made to be a, a thing. Or a different thing. A thing or a different thing? <laughs> you're assuming that there was intent behind a lot of this. Oh god, that's... Yeah, that's another game over, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So, um... I think that's it. I would. Yeah. I want to be able to show off this game, but I don't think it is playable enough to do that. I just... It's so weird, but we've seen enough of it that I don't think we're going to get any more out this of... Is, this is the demo, right? Yeah, this is the demo. <laughs> the demo, demo immediately dies on that, that Koopa. So, uh... Uh, well, in the second life, they get the immediately die on the Koopa. <laughs> I think this tells you enough about the game that the demo cannot play the game. <laughs> oh, the third life doesn't. It's the exact that. same thing every all three times. No, it's different. He got the mushroom once. And the second life. This is. Oh yeah, this time. This is the first time he jumped. Oh whoa, it's random. I think the demo is random inputs. I think it's actually <laughs> randomly generated inputs for the demo. Because look, he's jumping in random spots, he's starting and stopping. It is randomly generated inputs for the demo. They couldn't even make a demo. <laughs> uh, let's leave this system. Let's, let's get out of this. We'll be right back with something else.